Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson are two of the most iconic NBA players of all time. Did you know that these two legends weren't always close though? Before they came under the spotlight and became friends, things were a little tense. When MJ was the new kid on the block, rumors started swirling around that Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas were jealous of him. Can you imagine that? This is insane, considering that when the two of them were at the height of their fame, to the rest of the world it looked like they were BFFs. After their time together on the Dream Team, it just looked like they were as close as ever. At that point, no one knew what was driving all the rumors of the two having a serious falling out all of a sudden. But here's an explanation. Contrary to popular belief, they weren't jealous because of Jordan's professional success. Bennett backs off another step, he'll take it. He backed off another step and Michael took him to the cleaners on the face. It's insane because Jordan broke into the league at a time when Isaiah and Magic dominated the trophy cabinet. The reason why they were so jealous was because of Michael's title of Air Jordan. At least, that's what the rumor mill was saying at the time. The crazy thing about these rumors is that Michael Jordan was also well aware of them. So Isaiah and Magic weren't the only ones. Despite his admiration for the Lakers superstar, Jordan was constantly fed the news that his idol, Magic Johnson, wasn't too fond of him early in his career. His vintage Jordan superstar. I'll tell you, I hope nobody blinked watching that one. This whole thing was a huge deal, and Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas were accused of being jealous of Jordan. Let's see what happened. Jealousy might seem very natural, especially when a rookie is offered a $2.5 million sneaker deal that is well above what Isaiah and Magic, two of the NBA's biggest stars, got. Even though it seems natural, nobody ever thought that Magic and Isaiah would act on it. During the 1985 All-Star Weekend, though, things took a very different turn. People were saying that the veterans, Magic and Isaiah, were planning to absolutely absolutely humiliate MJ in front of the whole entire world. The Higgins back to Jordan. But how did it all go down? The ball completely slipped from Jordan's hands and all of his teammates left him alone in the middle of the court, all while he was giving the first ever all-star performance of his career. This whole thing didn't just slip by his airness and he couldn't help but take notice. Now watch Michael get to the line here, they're gonna really get mad. <laughs> He got into the paint. Gets the Honestly, the rumors were just all over his face. If anyone else was in Jordan's position, they would assume the same thing that his airness did. He thought that his idol, Magic Johnson, disliked him. Just imagine how heartbreaking of a moment it was for him. Michael Jordan even talked about the rumors over 25 years later, and he had a lot to say. MJ didn't hold back at all, and explained that the game and the rumors just kind of divided the two greats. It's completely understandable why that would happen, especially because the rivalry was all that everyone could talk about. Adding fuel to the fire obviously didn't help. The fact that everyone fed into these rumors was probably getting to young MJ, and hey, it's completely understandable. His airness said that he felt like Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas were working together and freezing him out. That's pretty sad, isn't it? Can you imagine that these two greats were mercilessly pitted against each other because of one silly rumor? The NBA community has always been a little toxic. Jordan has his own opinion though. He thinks that the jealousy between the two of them could have been avoided. Jordan has his agent, David Falk, to thank for all of his endorsements, and he said it himself. He said that in the same situations that he was taking advantage of, Magic could have as well. Crowd wanted a foul on Jordan. Magic with the spin and the bucket. If only he had had the right representation. When you consider all this, it kind of makes sense as to why Jordan thought there was some envy between the two of them. He admitted that he took the whole thing with a grain of salt. He also went on to admit that he just couldn't spend time with his idol and never made the effort to. All he did was admire and respect his game from afar, leaving it at that. All of this though was before Magic and Jordan got together on the Dream Team. If any of us got snubbed by our childhood idols right in front of our eyes on the court we grew up watching them on, it's definitely going to hurt. Thankfully, everything is good with Jordan and Johnson now. Soon after this fiasco, Michael and Magic became very close and shut down all the rumors about jealousy and bitterness. Post, so he just backs him down. Mark Price tries to circle to get the steal. 
Scotty Pippen with a nice pass and Michael with a wide open. They're a superstar duo, and it would have been a tragedy if they never got together on the Dream Team. Now, both of them have a shared admiration for each other, and the fans love to see it. Michael Jordan has nothing but good things to say about Magic Johnson, and vice versa. Johnson has even gone on the record about it. Magic Johnson released his own docuseries on Apple TV recently. It's called They Call Me Magic, and he said that it was Jordan's docuseries that inspired him to come up with his own. Great reverse underneath the basket, great suspension. Great touch. It feels like this is just an endless loop between the two of them. For example, the Lakers legend named the man who inspired him in the series' first episode. Jordan had nothing but positive things to say about his former rival. Jordan thinks that Magic Johnson changed the game. He said that everyone shouldn't be crediting Michael Jordan and saying that he changed the NBA. What they should be doing instead is saying that Magic Johnson is the one who changed the NBA. That's where the game changed, according to his airness. Magic was totally not aware of the fact that MJK said this. In fact, it wasn't until the premiere of They Call Me Magic that he realized what his friend was saying. Johnson was so incredibly moved by Jordan's words and couldn't even control his emotions. Safe to say, his reaction was everything. Magic said that he was laughing and crying at the same time, being overwhelmed by his family's words and what Larry Bird and Michael Jordan said. He even said that he'd never heard Michael Jordan say something like that, and the fact that he said something like that meant a lot. It's just heartwarming to see the way these two are so full of admiration for each other and always have the best things to say about each other. Looking for penetration, spin move, hangs in the air, off the glass it is. And that's what Wes and I were talking But as far as their documentaries are concerned, They Call Me Magic was inspired by The Last Dance, but the two are very different. Rather than focusing on Johnson's career and his greatest accomplishments on the court, the series highlighted everyone involved in his life. This includes his family, friends, rivals, and players who grew up idolizing the legend. The Last Dance was focused more on Michael Jordan and his career. Morton is on Michael Jordan, he was on him for a moment. <laughs> Magic really wanted to make it different because he feels like this is important to him, his family, friends, and everyone else who is involved in the docuseries are what made Johnson who he is. Every episode showed a different part of his life with these people, and Magic was very proud that he was able to put that in a docuseries. Magic Johnson deserves his own documentary, and this has been a long time coming. He had one of the most colorful NBA careers. From his first retirement in 1991 due to contracting HIV to his current position in the LA Lakers office, Johnson Johnson's docuseries is definitely a nostalgic trip for his original fans. Both Jordan and Magic deserve all the praise they can get, because they're definitely living legends for a reason. See you in the next video.